Lesson eighty one. More about ear. Lisa, we have a new ein word here, but it doesn't look exactly like the others. Wasn't I just saying in the last lesson how easy ein words are? Yes, you were. Can I take that back? <laughs> no, I think you're not wrong about it. If you look at the chart here again, you see the same endings apply. It just looks a tiny little bit different from the other ein words. Oh, I see what you're saying. The first part of the word is a little different, but the endings are the same. Yes. So ear probably looks familiar to our listeners because they encountered it before as a pronoun, which means y'all. And here we're learning that it can also be a possessive adjective, meaning her. Okay, Lisa. So the burning question that everyone wants to know the answer to is: How do you tell the difference? If you see the word "ia," how do you know if it means "y'all" or if it means "her"? Like the possessive word "her." Like the other ein words, our possessive adjective "ia" needs to be placed in front of a noun because they go together. So this is the easiest way to find out. If you look at the examples. At the end of the lesson, you see "ihr seid Brüder." Here, "ihr" is standing by itself. There's no noun following it directly, so we know this must be "y'all." Whereas in the second sentence, "Sie haben ihr Auto," "ihr" is followed directly by "Auto," and therefore you know they belong together, and it must be her car. So in the first example. Year is followed by a verb, and in the next one, it's followed by a noun. So I suppose, Lisa, what we could say here is what we've said many times before: that you have to look at the context. Yes, context is always key.